Patience is a virtue, at least sometimes, I think. Sometimes I am a very impatient man, but uh, I do see that there are times that require patience. So I have a story to tell you. When I was 19 years old, I was uh, up in the woods one day, not far from, well, it's several miles from my house. I walked up into the woods and I looked around. I was walking up a trail I'd never been in this particular hauler before. I wanted to make my way to the top of the ridge. I was out hunting. I made my way up the trail and I found a deer trail that led further up the ridge to the top of it. And I seen that there was a huge laurel thicket that ran along the top of the ridge. So, I made my way up the deer trail. It took me about 15, 20 minutes or so to reach the top. And it was in the afternoon. This was in, I believe this was in September when this happened. And I sat down. I climbed into the laurel thicket, just a little ways inside. I was overlooking the deer trail, which ran maybe about 10 to 15 foot below where I was sitting. But before I sat down to camp out there and wait for a while, I had the idea to use my hands and rake away all the dry leaves that accumulated on the ground. I cleared a six foot by six foot space there. Had the laurel leaves all around me. I was pretty well hidden. I cleared away the leaves because if over the next period of time if I was to have to move while I was sitting there hunting, I didn't want to uh, you know, rustle the leaves and make noise and possibly uh, let my prey know that I was there. So, I sat there. It was very humid that afternoon. It was one of those evenings where thunder, uh, thunder clouds were building, you know. Up there in northeast Tennessee, usually in the summer, it seems like every evening we have a thunderstorm because it's very humid. So I sat there and I waited. I had a uh, long sleeve black shirt on and I took it off. I had a camouflage shirt underneath because, as I said, I was sweating pretty profusely. It was humid. And I sat there and I waited. And then, after about 45 minutes, I heard a branch snap. And about 200 foot away, I seen a man walking towards me. Actually, it was the man who owned this piece of property. And he had a gun as well. And he was walking along the same deer trail that I had walked along just 45 minutes earlier. I sat there and I watched him. He was trying to walk fairly quietly through the woods there. He is a bigger, he's a big guy, to be honest. Uh, a lot bigger than I am. And he kept sneaking along, just walking along the deer path, approaching me. So I sat there. I got very nervous, you know. The adrenaline kicked in. I reached down and I picked up my gun. I was worried that this man would see me and 
because at times, I mean, he was looking right at me, but I suppose he couldn't see me due to all the laurel leaves in front of me. I had an idea, though. I grabbed my sweater, my black sweater that I had taken off, and quietly, very quietly, as he approached about 150 foot, 130 feet, I slowly reached down and I grabbed my sweater and I put it over the barrel of my nickel-plated gun. I draped it over. I actually shoved the barrel through one of the sleeves and I aimed. And I waited. I thought about firing upon the guy because I was trespassing after all. I thought about firing. But I held myself, and he still approached, 100 foot, 75 foot, closer. I sat there, and I waited. I was pretty nervous, but I managed to steal myself. I put my finger on the trigger, and when he was at the deer path, just maybe 15 foot below me, he turned and started to make his way towards the very spot I was sitting at. Now I had about 10, I was about 10 foot inside of the laurel thicket and I waited. I figured I had him in my sights the entire time. I waited until he got to the very edge of the thicket and then I unloaded. He screamed he staggered, fell backwards. We were just playing paintball though, by the way. When I wasn't really out, you know, I wasn't going to kill someone. <laughs> but patience served me well in this instance. Normally when we'd play paintball, uh, we, they would be 20 of us, we would get together and we'd go to each other's uh, houses. And this was a very fun, a very enjoyable time doing this. It was, it reminded me when we would play paintball of that uh, short story by Richard Connell called The Most Dangerous Game. Really got an, a real adrenaline rush from doing this sort of thing. Normally when I would play paintball, I would just uh, basically run around, shoot people and get shot. You know, there was plenty of times where I got lit up, but this one time, I decided that I would actually camp out somewhere and wait. And patience served me well because instead of firing upon him as he approached me, I wanted to wait till he got close enough and there was no doubt that I won. So patience is a virtue. I don't know, this is just a funny, funny thing that I had forgotten about until the other day. I just thought of it. Just remembered it, you know. Sometimes as you get older, there's memories that you that just kind of fade. The other day, though, when I went back home, went up in the woods for some reason, I thought of this, and if there's any, I guess you could say, moral to this story, it is patience can sometimes be a virtue, but it's also that if you were ever undertaking anything in life, anything where you have a pretty good chance of failing, a low chance of success. And you can apply this to anything, not just some silly game that I was playing back then. You can apply it to anything. But you can do small things. You gotta be creative sometimes, but you can do small things that will give you an advantage, you know? If you're serious about succeeding, why wouldn't you do these small things? Now, of course, there will be times when you can do all the preparation. You can do all the small things to give you an edge. And you still fail because some unknown and uncalculated variable comes into play. But a lot of times, though, you should do these small things 
to give you that slot edge because a lot of times a slot edge is the difference between success and failure. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.